Hi, magnificent light beings, you beautiful galactic spirits. This energy that we are exploring over the next 13 days is all about taking action. How are you expressing manifestation of your inner expression? And we just came from Wizard. And Wizard is all about our inner expression and connecting to our Akash, our fifth dimensional self. And how are we manifesting, how are we expressing our fifth dimensional world in our third dimensional experience, in our job, in our relationships, in our passions? How are we doing that? And it's super easy. And it's just to think about, the answer is, it is all in your hands. Now our hands are something um, that's attached to our body, yeah. But I think we take them for granted sometimes. I mean, they're just there. And hand is a wonderful birthright when you understand that it is, hands represents the ability of taking action doing what must be done in order to accomplish our mind, body, and spiritual goals. And um, one of the things that we forget often times is that you are capable. Say it. I am, I am capable. I am capable of living my dreams that I have started crafting at the beginning of exploring the keys to your castle. Exploring the keys to your castle, 52 day, these are five 52 day cycles. We are in the third house of 13 days in instinctual awareness in initiating ascension in what we want to do by starting with how are we going to rebirth our destiny that was dragon rebirth our destiny have a regenerate generation have a be the phoenix rising going into the heart of the creation is what we just explored as we are rebooting and recycling and going deeper in our conscious evolution we stepped into our inner wizard our shaman self the ability to be and connect in fifth dimension whenever we want and now with hand how are we expressing that out into the world you know it was so cool just the other day um I was at one of my farmer's markets. I do vegan organic skincare. That is one of my other passions. And there's a, there's a vendor mate, if you will, that walked up to me and she, I, I didn't know that she even knew that I explore galactic spirit and, and I'm an award-winning mind, body, spiritual author. I don't, I don't know if she even knew those things. And she, we never spent a lot of time together. She had, you know, we, and I didn't really know her very well. And she said to me, just by observing me, how she, how my radiance, I was very flattered by this, by the way, by just by my radiance and my resonance and my higher vibration that I practice vibrating at my farmer's market when I am selling my skincare personally i don't believe i sell it i share it with people um because i want them to reverse aging but the point is um she felt my expression even though i was not in you know even though i was in quote unquote sales mode if you will so there's a there was a lesson in this for me it was a wonderful confirmation and hand is all about accomplishment it's all about understanding that you are capable, I am capable, say the uh, affirmation out loud, I am capable of expressing my inner self even when I am doing my day job. 
if you will. Or even when I'm at the grocery store, or even when I'm watching my kids at soccer practice or ballet, ballet school or whatever it is, hand is that energy. How can you use your hands metaphorically as the creation of your expression of how you live your life? And that is what hand is all about. Your hands are healing. Take your hand and just put it over your heart for a second. If you're ever stressed out, put your hand over your heart. There's your first hand tip. I'm going to give you some more. And just breathe into it and feel the pulse of your breath as you hold your heart. If you're ever stressed out, doesn't matter where you are, nobody needs to know what you're doing. Just put your hand over your heart in comfort. Let's say you're watching a scary movie. I don't watch scary movies, but let's say. Feel it. You actually feel your heart resonance radiating. In fact, even when you're out making a presentation, let's say you have a business presentation, or let's say you have to have a conversation with somebody that's not very comfortable. If you put your hand over your heart, nobody knows what you're doing, but you're actually bringing your heart chi, your heart energy into the expression of whatever you're doing. It's so easy. Just breathe into that and feel how that feels. Hand is all about personal satisfaction and knowing. It's an, hand is an inner knowing that you did the right thing, that your hands were an expression of who you are. So what we're going to do, we're going to talk about where we were. We just finished with shaman that was our last cycle remember start bringing these visuals the images into your consciousness as you start exploring every 13 day cycle and the reason why you want to do that is you've got 13 days to really anchor the not only the energy but the image in your consciousness so when you want to be able to call upon it I call it the command on demand. Whenever in your outside world, in your third dimensional world, you're in a situation where you know that stepping into third, fifth dimensional consciousness and higher, mind is in it, higher mindedness and your genius will help you in a situation, you can just bring wizard into your consciousness. In our example today, while once we're having a problem expressing ourselves, you can drop in hand and that image and maybe remember to put your hand over your heart or do some of these other hand movements which i'm going to share with you in a few minutes you'll remember to do that so that is a big tip that i want to remind you of remember um, images were evolved before uh, language they were shown in hand paintings throughout our cult throughout all the world and through all indigenous cultures so these images are very powerful and these are innate to our galactic spirits so we really want to anchor them very deeply into our consciousness that's another tip for you so where we've been we've we've just explored our inner shaman and now we are moving up the cycle the 13 day ascension transformation of hand first we start thinking about ha our hands in a different way what we want to accomplish in in a different way the fact that i am capable say the affirmation i am capable i don't want to say you are capable because i know you're capable you need to know that you're capable the same way with the warrior image if you remember it bring it in know that you are worthy hey let's do it let's do the affirmation I am worthy mm, with your hand on your heart I am worthy warrior image 
the warrior birthright. Remember, we're experiencing one birthright a day to really anchor them into our consciousness and see how I'm now starting to pull them in. So you're starting to see how these are all fractals of wholeness. Being whole is your birthright. Each of these 20 energies around this wheel right here, all those 20 images are fractals of your intuitive knowing of your hands, each single one of them. And this is how we evolve our consciousness. So as since we're going where we are right now, we are going day one, day two, day three, day four, all around to 13 days exploring our healing consciousness. If you want to look at it as an ascension spiral, you're thinking about all the ways you want to share your hands with others, either in what you do or just who you are. Share your light with each other's and work on getting better and better and better and better and bettering with all these tools at your command to ultimately feel fulfilled and success at the end of the 13th day. This is where we are right now. And I want to show you something else. On our map of consciousness, we are... Just want to show you where we are. Sorry, I should have been more prepared. I need glasses. We're in, here's our 260 days map of consciousness. You don't need to know this. I just want you to see that it looks like a map of DNA because we are awake. We are awakening our DNA is what we're doing. And we are starting, we are in the second channel, the same way there's 13 days for each of the energies. There are 13 channels and we're working down so this is macro. We're working down the second channel. This is all about, second channel is all about, over, there you go, is all about overcoming duality, knowing that we are not separate. In the second column right there. And so there's 13, so we're seeing the channels of 13 all the way across, as well as the micro are 13 days of healing and intuitive knowing. So that's where we are right now. In the castles, um, we are castle, house number three. We're evolving the keys to our house of intuitive knowing and healing with our hands. We are still in the instinctual awareness castle. And ultimately, we're following the wheel that we move into, if you'll see the wheel, we move around to um, first initiating ascension with intu intu it, uh, instinctual awareness. White, we're talking about activating and imprinting in our soul's evolution. Blue castle, we're transforming and we're enhancing our inner resonance. Yellow, we're expressing and manifesting multidimensional coherence. And green, which is the one right before we rebirth again, that is wholeness, the universal nature of your multiverse. Universe, your song, your verse into the multidimensional uh, universe of infinite consciousness. And we keep on aspiring better and better into our evolutionary consciousness as we do one birthright a day and absorb that energy of the day watch how it influences your day and you'll start seeing the right people the right places the right opportunities show up so what is right opportunities 
that is a benefit of understanding hand. And it's being able to discern and make the right choices that when somebody offers you their hand, as a business opportunity, as their hand in marriage or partnership, as your child offers you your hand because they love being with you, having the discernment to know which hand you are going to accept. And how are you going to offer your hands in mind, body, and spiritual consciousness. How are you going to offer your hand, even if it's a work scenario, how are you going to offer your hand in love and in the mutual benefit for the, for the person that you're offering your hand for? Love plays a big part of this. Love is the energy of dog. Compassionate action. Your dog is always your best friend. One of your birthrights, all, each one of them playing a part of your evolutionary wholeness. So hands. Hands are progress in action. How are you going to use your hands metaphorically? Either you're a crafter or a builder or a typist. You need your, you know, most of the time, it doesn't matter what you do, you need your hands to communicate what your expression, whatever that might be. So when you're cooking dinner, and chopping all those vegetables, are you putting love in your hands? Do you have the intuitive healing knowing and the compassion that you're putting in that ultimately is going to be received by your body? Cooking and chopping your vegetables is no differently than working in your garden, using your hands to feel the earth and the soil and all the nutrients in order to enhance the life of your plantings. So your seed, another birthright, your seed of consciousness will grow into the mighty tree because it has all the resources it needs. And your healing, nurturing hands are enhancing it. Your hands are a manifestation of your skills of your heart. Mm. Your heart's creation. If you are not loving what you are doing, Tick tock. Every day your life gets shorter. Now, I'm not saying every day is perfect. And I'm not saying that every moment and every day we're doing ev what we love because sometimes you have to grind. I love how Mark Cuban says that on Shark Tank. You have to take the action. You have to do the work. And it's not always fun. That's not always the, the grinding isn't the fun part. But if you are loving what you're doing in the process of your expression of accomplishment, then the grind doesn't matter because you're having that expression through your progressive action, which is all what hand's about. Own your 
hands. Own your accomplishments. Be proud of them. If you are not going to be proud of something that you're doing, don't do it. If your hands aren't going to give you 100% metaphorically into whatever you're doing, don't do it. Now keep in mind, tomorrow you're going to be better today than you were yesterday. Did I say that right? I don't think so. If today is better than yesterday, and because you're learning today, tomorrow might be better than today, Still don't think about tomorrow. Think about doing your best today, right here, right now. Progress, not perfection. Talked about that before. And own your capacity. Hmm, how do you use your hands? In addition to the expression of what you do in your third dimensional world, let's go fifth dimension. Y'all have seen this before. Let me just stand up a little bit. Prayer pose. This is the Anjali Mudra from a Hindu and Buddhist tradition. You might see people going Namaste. This is a very potent mudra with hands over your heart. You can even take your thumbs and press it into the seat of your soul, your heart center, because you are sealing love in your expression. That is one way to use your hands. I'm going to give you a few more. But before I do, I want to remind you that of the fractalized energies in each 13-day cycle, I already showed you the progression of the days and moving upward in ascension. How are you going to get better and better and better at owning your expression? manifested through your outside world but there's also micros fractals of each of your the hand energies so as you're moving up this ascension this is not right Welcome back. If you own your accomplishments, you know when something isn't right. And we, I was going to show you the micro fractals of the 13 days of hand. And I wasn't paying attention. And I picked up the wrong set of energies. And how did I know? Let's use it as a lesson. The first day of each 13-day cycle is always its energy doubled. What does that mean? First day is hand of hand. The fractal on day one of the 13-day cycle of hand is hand. So it's the energy doubled. And when I was going to explain that to you, I didn't have the right set of cards. So there's a lesson. Own what you know, express it correctly. You'll forgive me if I made a mistake on this video, right? So you take a pause, there's a lesson. Take a pause. Trust the fact that people are forgiving simple. Hand of hand is the first day. Your energy doubled. So as you're moving up that progression spiral, go ahead and get this image on galacticspirit.com. 
Day number two is all about star. Remember the star energy is all about seeing beauty with your fifth, you know, with your five senses and expressing expressing those five senses with the heart of creation. Look how beautiful the the fractal of star works with hand. So as you're using your hands, you are creating with the ultimate beauty that comes from within. I love Galactic Spirit. I love this work. It is so powerful. Here's Moon. Are you expressing through your hands with your innate soul purity and fluid transcendence? Of course you are. We're upside down too. Maybe I have to go like this the whole... And are you doing it with fuzzy... There you go. Are you doing with are you doing your expression with your hands with love and compassion? Love above all else, universal acceptance. Yes. And are you having fun working, expressing? owning your creation are you having fun is it joyful is it creative i mentioned this earlier if you are not having fun doing what you're doing tick tock your clock is ticking yes i'm not saying to quit your job if that's if that you know I, i'm not implying that at all but in the process of doing your job in order to feed your family find something else that you love doing and maybe your hobby if you set your intentions right and you work within the fifth dimensional concepts of galactic spirit and you unfold your path doing what you love your hobby will transform into an income generating stream ultimately enough where you can do that as compared to working a job you don't like i can't think of anything worse than waking up every day and going to a job i don't like I, it's just it, it's just like a, a waste of creativity and a waste of wild where we're born at this time we're here to really express ourselves and express our mind body and spiritual accomplishments and multi-dimensional abundance day number six are you willing to try it human are you willing you have the free will to do that and are you going to take compassionate action to start working with your hands day number seven it's all about skywalker are you being a channel for your belief system as you are doing your job like i said at the top i was a channel for my belief system my mind body spiritual goodness if you will my radiance that i aspire to be even when i am doing my quote unquote job at the farmer's market and this person who really didn't know me very well felt that and mirrored it back to me that's a way to work with mirror that's one of your birthrights are you being a wizard that was our last see our last 13 day cycle are you being are you being able to see beyond the scene and tap into your fifth dimensional unlimited resources being a medium being a psychic for your intuitive ability to have your expressive hands next day is the eagle hmm how are you having a broad picture of what you want to accomplish think about an eagle flying high there is no boundary on the horizon yet he can see with microscopic focus i think your expression of self working with your hands is all about seeing a broad picture and having the microscopic focus an eagle will help you do that warrior are you brave enough do you have courageous determination do you trust in your hands and in your own accomplishment and your own expression 
How are you navigating it? How are you getting from point A to point B? If you start a project, what is the beginning of the project? What is the end of the project? And what are the synchronicities that are showing up on the way? Mirror. Reflection. Are you being a... Is your... Are your hands reflecting your true self? just giving you little quick little snapshots of how all these daily these are all daily energies one birthright a day and how they can be influencing your wholeness specifically now we're working on hand and intuitive knowing and healing last at 13 day is storm Mm, I love storm. You're not supposed to love one of the 20 energies more than the other, and I don't. I love them all the same because they all are um, vehicles of wholeness, each one of them playing its fractalized part of who you are. I like storm because it breaks down all, uh, it breaks down what doesn't serve you in order to have breakthroughs to see your true self. And as we talked about before, are you breaking through your true self to accomplish what it is that gives you joy? That is the purpose of hand. And on the 13th day, up at the top of your ascension spiral, are you f being fulfilled and grateful for that ability to have gone through looking at all the levels and the layers and the fractals and the aspects of who you are? A couple other ways to use your hands. Let's say you're in a situation where it's not very comfortable. Maybe somebody's attacking, not physically attacking you. Hopefully you are never in that situation and you can divert situations by your accomplished wit to not get into a circumstance like that. But let's say somebody is being aggressive or unnecessary uh, hurtful or whatever the case may be and you are just at the wrong place at the wrong time by the way the more you practice galactic spirit the less and less you attract those people so they don't even enter your auric field but protection if you put your hands like so and put them over your heart he, this is a protective shield, and if you turn it this way, where the energy is coming toward you, and your hands are worked as a, like a shield where it all bounces off, and when you're in a situation like that, and I rarely use it, but I have, it, the energy just bounces off you, and one of the one of our techniques in galactic spirit is not to hold on to any negative thinking or neg any negative emotion and here is a way to here's a way to stop it right in its tracks and you put it right over your heart center the seat of your soul as protection another way i'm going to give you two more and um the and i love if you've never practiced Tai Chi, I wish I had a class proximate to me because I would certainly go. I love Tai Chi because it really teaches you how to harness heaven and earth energy. And if you've ever seen Tai Chi move, you can draw in energy and give energy back. Draw it in and back is a way to use your hands. You can also scoop up earth energy, that divine nurturing Gaia Pachamama energy, and then you can put it where you want it. Do you want it in your heart center? Do you want to incorporate in your, 
the earth energy in your whole body. Do you want to scoop it up and bring it down into your body? Do you want to harness heaven energy and bring it down? By the way, if you don't know what I'm doing right now, we've done this before on some of our other uh, adventures. We've made a Torian field. And I like to use my hands, my healing hands, as to show the toroidal energy, the circumpolar energy that your electromagnetic frequency is ever expanding from the earth up to heaven, down through your spine, the kundalini energy through your chakra system, back down to the earth, or opposite, the Taurian energy coming this way. From down, up through your spine and your chakra system, so you are a vehicle, you're using your hands to help your electromagnetic field expand. Now remember, if you look at any scientific pictures of the electromagnetics of the planet, the planets through our poles, the north and south pole, is moving in the same way. So when you say you're, we are one with the earth, and the electromagnetic energies of the earth, this is the scientific relationship to it. Now remember, we are working in two dimension here, like flat screen, right? But remember this Torian energy works on a sphere. So think about the 360 degrees of the earth where this energy is moving in all 360 degrees as does the energy in your body. And you are using your healing hands to propagate your electromagnetic energy, which is the one of the objectives of galactic spirit. It's one of our tools because the more we vibrate our electromagnetic energies within ourselves, the higher we beam our frequency, ultimately beaming, um, vibrating so fast and so high that we turn into a being of light. And that's done through electromagnetic energy. Think of a light switch. What, what is that? We are taking a current and the magnetic pull of the two little fibers in there. And that's how light works. And that's what we are doing internally. And our DNA, our two strands of DNA is capable, are those two little poles within ourselves that we can make our own electricity and you looking at our cosmic map of all of our birthrights, the DNA is even embedded in there with green days or portal days Well, the veil is thinner where we can see the unseen because the veil is lifted a little bit and on galactic spirit on the daily energies every single the videos tell you when those these special days are so you don't even need to follow along with this so with our hands we've done the angel we've done the anjali mudra we've given our we've shared our hands with others as an expression of help and nurturance or opportunity. We've taken somebody's hand. Um, we've lent a helping hand. And the last way is we can expel and, um, you know, as we were using the Torian energy, um, I was doing this in a meditation with a friend of mine uh, lately, you can also um, work your hands with your breath and at shoulder height or heart height. As you breathe in, you can breathe in the, and I call them the heart bellows. You can bring in whatever loving and energy and kindness and all this, those aspects that you're working on now. And as you release, you can release your shadow energies. What doesn't serve you? 
Breathe in love, loyalty, compassion, forgiveness. Breathe out. Gosh, I can't even think of self-sabotage, distrust. I have to work on those because I don't think about them too much. In, breathe in, good, good stuff. And breathe out bad stuff. And as you peel away these layers of onion, bringing the rose in and the onion out. Good stuff in, and you can use your hands for that as well. So practice working with your hands. Know that you are capable of expressing your inner world and manifesting it on your outer world. The energy that's up next in the cycle of our castles, we are going to complete the red castle with the energy of sun. So with sun, enlightening connection, your innate inheritance that you are unified with source. You are not alone. You are, you are part of the whole. The whole is available to you. We're going to complete your initiation into your ascension or reascension, depending on how many times you've been around with me. And you're going to have different instinctual awarenesses because you have now practiced rebirthing, accessing your wizard, expressing your healing hands, and completing with your unifying with source. Using my hands over my heart to express my love and gratitude for your galactic spirit. Namaste.